Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic from settlement geography and that is urban ruler fringe. So let's understand what is ruler urban fringe. Ruler urban fringe is actually a zone of discontinuity between the city and the countryside. And in this zone of discontinuity, we can find both ruler urban land uses. For your understanding, I have drawn a simple diagram. U represents the urban uh, urban area and R represents the ruler area and in between this the yellow portion it is the fringe area where both urban and ruler land uses are found the other diagram uh, you can draw this diagram you can draw in your exams the center portion it represents the core build-up area which is the city area and the outside the ruler hinterland that is the ruler area and in between the core built up city area and ruler hinterland we have ruler urban or ruler urban fringe this can be this ruler urban fringe can be uh, divided into inner fringe and the outer fringe the area just outside the core build up area is known as inner fringe and after the inner fringe we have the outer fringe area now we will discuss some of the characteristics of rural urban fringe areas. Number one, assumption of agricultural land for residential, commercial and educational uses. Urban rural fringe areas, they have vast tracts of lands and the land is also cheap compared to the city areas and therefore uh, these activities, commercial educational activities, they are now shifting to the rural urban fringe areas. And industries are also moving to these areas for the same reasons. Number third, people of the fringe areas, they are now being overburdened of paying heavy taxes for the urban amenities which they are getting now. Next is high land values because of new constructions which are coming to rural urban fringe areas. The land values is also uh, rising uh, very fast. And because of all these re reasons, we can see a social shift in the attitudes of the people. The ruler urban fringe produced three different aspects that is physical, social and economic aspect. In the physical aspect, we can see increasing physical uh, infrastructure in the ruler areas. In the social aspect, we can see when urbanization is increasing and it is moving to the ruler areas, there are conflict between two ways of life that is urban life and the ruler ways of life. The economic aspect can be understood through the urban expansion on the agricultural lands. Agricultural lands are taken and urban amenities are built on these areas and this affect the economy of that region. Now, based on these three different aspects of the rural urban fringe, or physical, economic and social aspect, we can define the stages of rural urban fringe growth. In the first stage, first stage of growth, uh, we have ruler stage. In the ruler stage, agriculture is the main occupation in the ruler area and because of that there is very little interaction between the city and the village. Second is the agricultural land use change. In this stage, agricultural land use starts changing. What happens in this stage? City offers a market for the village products like milk and vegetables and because of this there is a frequent movement from village to the city. Third is the stage of occupational change. In this city offers employment opportunity for the villages and therefore mobility between the city and the rural areas increases and because of that better furnished houses can be built in the villages. Fourth stage is the stage of urban land use growth. Here in this stage, real estate agents start purchasing land in the villages and they start developing residential colonies in the uh, rural areas. Fifth is urban village stage. Here, fringe, this fringe area is converted into urban use. Urban colonies start uh, starts building in these areas and as a result, no agricultural land remains. Now we will see why there is increasing demand for land in the rural urban fringe area. The first and foremost reason is that land is cheaper here in the rural urban fringe area, which is not in the case in the city region. 
Second is less traffic congestion and pollution compared to the city area and therefore there is a demand for land in this region. Third is easier access and better road infrastructure because it is not it is newly developing uh, area and therefore it has a comparatively better road infrastructure. And next last is more pleasant environment with more open space because large vast tracts of lands are available here. More greenery is there. So a pleasant environment and open space attracts people to come in this region. So these areas are attracting more and more people to come and settle in these regions. And because of that, problems of rural urban fringe is also increasing. We will discuss some of the problems here. Number one is large areas of the countryside are being lost. Next is building is out of character. New buildings which are constructed here, they are of urban uh, characteristics. So they are out of character compared to the existing rural buildings. Next is villages may become urbanized. The villages are also losing their characteristics. Traffic is likely to increase in these uh, areas because people are living in the rural urban fringe areas, but they have to move to the city on daily basis for work. Uh, they are working in the city areas and living in the rural urban fringe areas, so they have to move daily. So, and because of that, traffic is also likely to increase. There may be an increase in pollution as more and more people are coming to live there and working in the city areas. So more and more movement and because of that pollution is also likely to increase in these regions. So here I have provided a case study of the fringe area. This is of Delhi and city, national capital territory of Delhi. So the middle portion, it, uh, which is the darkest portion, the middle one, it is the Delhi urban area and around that you have a transitional zone. The outermost area, the outermost line, it defines the rural urban fringe area of Delhi and you can see various regions like Bahadur, Gad, Gurgaon, Faridabad, these all are lying around the uh, NCT region. Previously, we have discussed some of the problems which rural urban fringe areas are facing. Now we will see how we can manage it. First, enhance green infrastructure and green belts. We have to increase the green belts and green infrastructure in these regions. Second, we have to conserve and maintain the traditional farm buildings to preserve their traditional characteristics. Next is we have to manage and restore existing natural woodlands these areas are source of natural woodlands, so we have to manage and uh, restore them. And finally, all our development activities should be properly planned.